Alright, episode four. Make your way into the studio, and we'll meet you there. Welcome to Taskmaster. Here you will face a veritable cavalcade of improbable challenges. Completing them however you like, as long as you stay within the confines of basic practicality, decency, and my own peculiar whims. I'm Greg Davis, and to my left is a man with a face like gone off cheese. It's little Alex Horn! Thank you, Greg. I am feeling really kind of spaced out today. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've been playing a lot of VR virtual reality games. Me too. Have you? Yes, it's astonishing. It really feels like you're actually there. Oh, does it indeed? Yes, I've been playing Assistant Simulator. That's one of my favourites. It's very realistic running a series of improbable and humiliating chores for a big virtual man. Right, I see. I've very nearly scored enough points to afford a small lunch break, so it's very exciting. I genuinely could not care less about any of this. You've got too much time on your hands, and I shall be rescinding it accordingly. At the risk of getting predictable, let's do another task, Alex. This next one has a bit of a ring to it. Post the notes, you got a Ahoy! phone. Ahoy! Hi, Alex. Post the notes, a phone, the buzzer to stop early. Anything under the table? No. Okay. Uh, all right. Okay, here we go. Answer the phone to receive a list of mini tasks, then perform them in any order. If you perform any task not in the list, the phone will ring with a new list, and you must start again. If you complete a list, the phone will ring with a longer one. Your aim is to get the list as long as possible. You have 20 minutes. Your time starts now. So it's, going, it's like a Simon Says, but audio and tasks. I just have to remember, like, if I get up to, like, five tasks, and I get, then I reset back to three or something, I have to make sure I don't do anything from the five task list that wasn't in the three task list. Got it. Okay. When the phone rings, pick it up. You'll be given a chain of mini tasks to complete. If you get them all right, you'll get a call with an even longer chain. Got it. Do want to call that number? Feed the horse some dog food. Slam the front door. Make the puppets kiss. Roll a tyre. Does that feed the horse and dog food? What? Yeah. Sound the front door, roll a tire. I don't know what any of that means. I don't know where the puppets are. Sound the front door, I can do that. Good. Ran into the door. Okay. Where would the puppets be? Maybe in here? Ah. One. Your chain is one. Yeah, thanks. Puppets. Puppets. And, uh, puppets, a tire, a tire in the shed, maybe? Yeah. Doors. Uh, no. Puppets. I'm looking for puppets and a tire. No. Uh, ah, tire. Not entirely sure where we even got that. Yeah, yeah. Right. My guardian again. There, I'm rolling a tire. Yes. Okay. Roll a tire. Uh, make the puppets kiss. Where are the puppets? Two. Puppets. Make them kiss. If it's soggy, that's normal. Just ignore that. How do I make you kiss? There we go. Uh, something about dog food. I didn't understand what I was used to about the dog food. Yeah. Uh, dog food's probably... 
three mini tasks in a row. Kitchen, kitchen, kitchen. Something like diaper. Diaper. One. What's that supposed to do? We don't have a dog. I don't know why we bought so many cans of that. What's that supposed to do with the dog food? I don't remember. Alex. Oh, shit. What's that supposed to do? To do. Feed the horse some dog food. What horse? We don't have a horse. I don't understand. How much time is left? Crap. Ah! Into the walls again. Okay. No horse. Oh! Horse! Hi! Here. Have some dog no, food. Okay, there we go. Next chain, the phone is ringing. Kiss Greg's statue on the head. Put a cone on your head. Stroke Linda the cow's head. Brush the tiger. Slam the front door. I already forgot what this is. Kiss, slam, cone on head. What do I do with the animals? Kiss Greg's statue on the head. Right. Put a cone on your head. Stroke Linda the cow's head. Stroke. Brush the tiger. Brush. Stroke Slam the, the front door. All right. All right. All right. Slam the front door again. Come on, run. Yeah. That's me slamming, dang it. Come here. Oh, shit. I just hit something in my real world. Damn. Ugh, okay, okay, okay. Here, slam it this way, then. One. Linda Your chain started. is one. Yeah, I got that thing, so. Oh, I'm so Step back. All right. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, Two. Kiss Greg statue. Here we go. Uh, tiger... Three mini tasks in a row. Good. Uh, where would that tiger be? Where is the tiger? Four in a row. Yep, got that. Thanks. Where on earth is the tiger? There. I'm looking for a tiger. I don't know where the tiger is. Tiger in the garage. Oh, it's probably in the caravan, isn't it? Get this clock ahead. I uh, probably should pay attention to where that was. Ah! Brush. I need the brush. I need a brush. Oh my god, how am I still close to my guardian again? Does that count? I actually need to brush it. Is brush in the bathroom? This brush is probably in the bathroom. God dang it. Uh, bathroom is here. We have a brush here. It's not the sponge. 
No brush. This kind of brush. It's a toilet brush. You don't need to do that. We have people to do that. Mm. Okay. That's a sponge. Where the heck do I find a brush? Next chain, the phone is ringing. Brush the tiger. Take okay. something out of the washing machine. washing machine. Crouch up and down in the dome five times. Put a cone on your head. Flush the toilet. Salute Ollie the Knight. Oh my god. Okay. I do that again. Cone on head, crouch up and down five times, out of the washing machine, and salute. Washing machine. How did I knock that over? Where'd my kitchen go? Kitchen takes me out of the dishwasher. One. Your chain is one. Come on, run, run. Again, how do I keep getting close to the guardian? Three Let's mini forward. tasks in a row. Okay. I don't know if that guardian shows up in the video. No, not you. This. Four in a row. Next chain, the phone is ringing. Take something out of the washing machine. Stroke Linda the cow's head. Dance on the stage. Kiss Greg's statue on the head. Feed the horse some dog food. Poke the skull in the eye. Slam the oh front God, door. So much. I wish I could write these down. Hmm, rainbow cubes. Oh, that's right. This one. This one. Stop that. Give me my hand back. I think that was right. That's on the front door. Take something out of the washing machine. Stroke Linda the cow's head. Dance on the stage. Kiss Greg's statue on the head. Feed the horse some dog food. Poke the skull in the eye. Slam the front door. Okay, okay. So, I got where did I put that dog food? Okay, first. Here you go. Okay, that's the front door. The washing machine take some out of the washing machine. Ah. One. Your chain is one. Door again. And again. 
again, next to my guardian. I don't know how I keep doing that. Two. Okay. This kit. Oh my god, this door. Stay open. Uh, stroke the chaos head, kiss Greg's statue. Three mini tasks in a row. Four in a row. <laughs> cool. uh, what did I forget this time? I don't remember. That's five. Wash machine. I get door, I get Greg, I get cow. I get this. Oh, poke. Poke the eye, poke the skull in the eye. Where's the skull? Probably in the, the main diamond. What is it? Den? What is this room? Poke the skull in the eye. Okay, where's the skull? Gosh dang it. Where is the skull? Where is the skull? Uh, is there a skull in the caravan? Your chain now stands at six. Take something out of the washing machine. Stroke Linda the cow's head. Dance on the stage. Kiss Greg's statue on the head. Feed the horse some dog food. Poke the skull in the eye. Slam the front door. Okay. All right. Uh... Horse statue, that's the easiest one. I mean, horse dog would statue. What is that? Washing machine, front door, dance, skull, Greg. Washing front door, dance, skull, Greg. Washing machine. So in the washing machine, so I'll put them back in. And I'll take it out again. Go to the salmon. Again, next to my guardian. I don't I don't feel myself moving like physically, so I don't know why I keep doing that. Oh come on, send a door. There we go. Really? How is that chain complete? I don't understand. Next chain, oh, the phone is ringing. I think I screwed something up. Oh my god. Poke the skull in the eye. Slam the front door. Flush the toilet. Alright, I need to look at all that again. Stop that. No front doors in there. I don't know what else is there. This is the first place. Ring the doorbell three times. Feed the horse some dog food. Make the puppets kiss. Kiss Greg's statue on the head. Take something out of the washing machine. Poke the skull in the eye. Slam the front door. Flush the toilet. Okay, okay, okay. Horses first. Okay, toilet, front door, washing machine. Toilet, front door, and washing machine. Let's do all those one. Things. Your chain is one. Oh my god. Three mini tasks in a row. Okay, so I just did. Toilet, I did washing machine. Four in a row. Door. I have to do puppets, Greg, cow. Puppets, puppets, doorbell, Greg, cow, and skull. Puppets, doorbell, Greg, cow, and skull. Times. 
It's me. That's five. Kiss. Thank you. Oh, Your chain now stands at six. You have a chain of seven. No! Oh, you gotta be kidding. I was supposed to lose the cow that time? Dang it. All the information is on the task. Oh, shut up. I'm resetting the chain to zero. No! I was so close. Two minutes. Oh, no! No! Oh my god, okay. no, I didn't mean to hit that. Let's head back to the studio. Look at the score. So I got 10 0. Because I actually hit the buzzer when I was putting the post-it notes down. Beautiful. After all that, I get zero. <sighs> Bit full on that one, wasn't it? Oh yes, lots going on, and not all of it immediately comprehensible. They managed to get a full chain in time, though. Good. Another pedantic and confusing challenge thrown back in your stupid smug face. So, what was the longest chain they managed? A chain of seven. Okay, so it well, on one. no it's cigar, but that's, that's a good. healthy length of chain. Okay, a shame that the scoring that. system, which I make up on the spot, is unfailingly draconian. On to the scores then. A belting performance as a harangued personal assistant fulfilling ridiculous requests. If you'd done much better, I'd be considering you as a replacement for Alex right now. Thank Instead, you. I will give you four lovely points. I'll take it. Which is more than he's ever had off me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Task me, Alex. Task me. OK, here's a task which I designed to fulfil the Taskmaster's recent demand that I make the show really pop. So, balloons of some kind? Good to see you. I probably cast up on the red green. Uh, okay. And now I like Scott is doing the stone. Pop the bubbles. Only bubbles popped while you're on the red circle will be counted. The bubble blowers have limited bubble mixture. You have five minutes. Your time starts now. Only bubbles pop while you're on the red circle will be counted. Limited. Okay, so bubbles are going to blow from there. You have five minutes. Your time starts now. Is there, can I, the first question is going to be, can I move that circle? I guess I'll find out. Remember, you will only score points for popping bubbles while stood on the red circle. Great. Can I move the red circle? No. Okay, that's unfortunate. Okay, all right. Right. Fan is going on. Good swashbuckling. Impressive technique. You'll need to return to the red circle soon. I'm on the red circle. What are you talking about? Stopped it. <laughs> that feels what a lot easy. of bubbly fun. It was like a child's birthday party, complete with a palpable sense of seething resentment. Wow. You were like the John Wick of gently bursting soap bubbles. John Prick, 
Yes, an alarmingly high percentage of bubbles popped. They were unstoppable. Unstoppable popping. Noted. Got to be pretty pleased with that, right? I Me? Guess so. No, them. Obviously not you. Oh, it's just that I was very pleased with that, yes, if you were asking. I found the whole thing very satisfying. I wasn't asking, and I never will be. Now, where were we? A right little Errol Flynn with the sword, weren't you? Not, of course, the most effective way of popping bubbles. No? Well, there was nothing in the wording that said you had to use the sword. Right. So, in theory, they could have used any number of more appropriate implements. Like what? Hmm. Sword it takes the shine off those classic Errol Flynn movies, doesn't it? Knowing he could have just thrown a plank of wood at the baddies instead. Yes. A little surprising, given that it's not the most efficient manner with which to dispatch bubbles. Oh. No, but it's got flair, and a little flair goes a long way. Okay. Shall I write that down? Yes, do. It'll make a lovely turn of phrase for the Taskmaster greeting cards line. File it under the sorry for your loss run. Shall we get to the scores so we can stop saying the word bubbles? Yes, please. You did satisfactory battle against the slow-moving spheres of soapy water. Three points. Let's move straight on to the studio task. Happy with your prompts, Greg? Yep, I think I can handle sitting on my throne and shouting. Punch the punch bags to tell the correct time as directed by the taskmaster. Uh, again, how am I getting so close to my guardian? How does that keep happening? Punch the punch bags to tell the correct time as directed by the taskmaster. For each time, you must punch one bag for the hour and one for the minute. Uh, you have three and a half minutes. The taskmaster will start when Alex blows his whistle. So where is noon? Okay, so I'm guessing... Oh, that's... Oh, okay. So... Blues are 12 and 6. Reds are 3 and 9. Okay. <sighs> okay. Please put on the boxing gloves. Got it. And we can begin. Oh, I'm in the circle now. Okay. How strict are you going to be on the hour, Greg? If the time is 8.35 or 25 to 9, can the little hand hit 8 or 9 for the hour? Hmm, they can do either. And you know what? They don't need to be consistent as to which hand will be the hour hand and which will be the minute hand either. Good. As long as they hit the two correct numbers at the same time, that counts. At the same time. Very generous of us. Oh. OK, the Taskmaster will start shouting the out the times, one after another, once I blow my whistle. Ready? Here we go. Eleven o'clock. Nine o'clock. Eight o'clock. One o'clock. Ten past one. past one. Ten past nine. Quarter past ten. Twenty past noon. Kids are going digital right now. Five past eleven. Six o'clock. Ten past six. Quarter past nine. Twenty-five minutes to six. Five minutes to six. To six. Five thirty-five. At the same time. Midnight. Four p.m. Come on, it's only telling the time. Four a.m. Almost there. Five past ten. 
come on, it's only telling the time. 2.30. Almost there. No, faster. Half past six. Ah. Come on, it's only telling the time. OK, that's all the time. Right, it's score o'clock. We'll see how you did. Right, this is going to be a fairly simple one to score, so I'll take the time up top to ask, of all the pictures to put on those bags to get punched over and over, why did you choose your own face? Matt, well, because... all publicity is good publicity. Well, I don't believe it. I think the entire Taskmaster enterprise is just an excuse for you to get prurient thrills from being punished in public, and you've finally gone mask off. Agreed. And do you want to tell me off for that? No, you, you little deviant. I want nice. to get on with the scoring. Pretty good hit rate, I think. Yes, not as accurate as a watch, but more accurate than most online search engines. I had to give them a few seconds to catch up at one point and cover it with my sweet, sweet chat. Mm. Did you notice? No, I don't think anyone did. It was organic and seamless. Well done. OK, on the score clock, the big hand is at three and the little hand is at four. It's Scorter past score. Oh, yeah. A very good but not perfect clock. A bit of a Salvador Dali. Hard four. Four points. Okay. <laughs> so where does that put us with the episode score? Greg's legs, 11. So what have we learnt today? We've learnt that humanity has but one true enemy, the bubble. The bubble people are here now, and they're coming to take away your jobs and your children, and they're going to lay waste to your hometown. And they're going to redecorate your childhood home to a featureless husk of its former self, leaving you with nothing. Nothing! And they must be stopped. Thank you for playing, okay. and goodbye! So, yeah, that was pretty good. That's, yeah, definitely the best one. So, in test one, there was a weird problem where, at one point, I did, like one task on the chain and just said chain complete I was like, okay and then i accidentally hit the buzzer that sucked and this one i don't know alex was telling me to get back on the red circle when i was already on the red circle and then suddenly the task just ended for no discernible reason so kind of weird bugs in those two tasks but oh well that was a lot of fun probably my favorite especially this one because i got to run all over the property probably my favorite episode so far cool Bye bye